Hey, internet friends, cousins, and scoundrels. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Pull up a chair, honey, and let's have a chat. And since the algorithm really likes it when you interact with the content, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe since you're here. And I ain't gonna hold you. Let's get right into this. I know y'all have all seen that clip from tonight's episode. And all I have to say is Trish. <laughs> Trish. Trish. Girl, what exactly are we doing here? I mean, seriously, who told you it was a good idea for you to jump on TV and air out all your dirty laundry? Was it a dare? Girl, did you lose a bet? Because I know it's not the money, right? Carlos isn't exactly known for handing out those Bravo checks when it comes to his talent. Carlos says, I love you. Are you interested in taking the job? Yes. What he put on it as far as money? What are we talking about? Oh. What do you mean? Was it juicy? Juicy offering? Yes. I don't know what people think we get paid. We do not get Bravo money. What I can say, because I am contractually bound not to give numbers, what I can say is that it was not over 2,500 an episode. And my guess would be that you're not getting what the rest of the cast is getting, you know, since you're new and unknown. So if it's not for the paycheck, then what's the angle? I mean, enlighten me. <laughs> okay, maybe. Maybe I can understand if you were here for a little bit of exposure, you know, because you were trying to, you know, sell some kind of, you know, fitness product, like a protein shake or some detox teas, or even your own personal brand of Thigh Masters. Every single time you squeeze Thigh Master, you strengthen and tone right where you need it. So it's easy to squeeze, squeeze your way to shapely hips and thighs. I mean, you do love working out, <laughs> but from where I'm standing, you aren't selling anything, nothing. So if it's not for the cash from the show, right? And it's not for a side hustle, that only leaves one option, all right? You're here strictly for the fame. And not just any kind of fame, the kind where you're known as the former side chick of a castmate who also happens to be married and has a whole ass husband on the side. <laughs> Yikes. Is that really the legacy you're aiming for? Because girl, what kind of goal is that? And let's be real, okay? Trish, you too damn old for this mess to be your claim to fame. I can see it for the girls over there on Seuss. They're 20 something, right? And they can chalk that shit up to youth and stupidity. But not you, hun. You grown grown. You're not a spring chicken. And you should be wiser at this age not to mention you've got kids kids who are old enough to watch you on tv then see the commentary on youtube and read about all this nonsense in the blogs girl aren't you embarrassed do you seriously think they're proud of what they're seeing i mean girl what the hell are you thinking child this was a terrible idea from the jump and the part that really gets me is that you don't even know mel right so if you're here for some kind of get back or a vendetta, then who sent you? Who? Now, if I had to guess, all right, I would say that you are letting yourself be used by Stormy, right? Stormy has the problem with mail, right? And she's using you to throw this alleged affair up in her face. Now, what you fail to realize is that this says a lot more about you than it does about Mel, right? And none of it is any good, hun. It screams low self-esteem and desperation. The probability that you hooked up with Martel while he was still married, in their home, and possibly even in their marital bed, just makes you out to be a low-down, dirty asshole. I mean, that shit is on you. This doesn't make Mel look bad in any way. If anything, it makes her out to be the clear-cut victim here, right? And I know y'all hate to hear that word, but let's call a spade a spade. If all this shit is true, then you and Martel are the ones in the wrong, right? And that leaves Mel the victim. There's no way around it. Girl, you played yourself, sis. 
all you did was expose your own lack of self-respect. That's it. This lukewarm tea might as well be pee at this point, right? Because Mel could care less. She could give two flying fucks who Martella slept with in the past, who he's sleeping with now. She doesn't give a fuck, right? And y'all bringing this shit to the forefront four years after Martell and Mel have divorced is supposed to do what exactly? I'm confused. And on top of all that, Martell got his ass on national television and straight up said he doesn't even remember you. Like at all. So whatever went down between y'all must have been so unremarkable. It didn't even leave an impression on that man. Mm, how dreadful. Can you imagine putting yourself out here like this for a storyline and this man doesn't even remember you, gets on television and says he doesn't know who you are? Girl, please get the fuck out of here with this goofy shit. Uh Uh-uh, ain't no way. Talk about a wasted opportunity. Trish, you're using this platform all kinds of wrong, child. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. I would never... Hell no, I wouldn't play around with my reputation the way you play around with yours. This situation wouldn't be the talk around the table. This wouldn't be content. Hell no. It wouldn't be because there wouldn't be any speculation, right? Especially if this shit isn't true. The fact that you got up here and toyed with the idea and you think it's funny and you think it's cute means that you are a slow hoe. Say it what I said. And let me tell you something else, right? Ken isn't helping your case. He looks equally as dumb and goofy on this show. Simping, button struggling to stay closed, crashing out all over social media. Both of y'all look dumb. There is no redeeming quality in any of this. Nothing. And I know people want to bring shame back. But can we also bring dignity and self-respect back too while we're at it? Because this shit is pathetic. You got on TV just to go down in history as one of Martell's bust downs in a $15 shake and go gas station wig. Girl boo, get your ass off my screen. Anywho, I want to hear what y'all think about Trish. Is she playing the game right or is she just playing herself? drop down in the comment section and let me know what you think again thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time bet you know now